What's up, people? Or should I say, what's up, mate? Or mate? Well, it's no secret that for the last year or two, I've been telling you guys that the Linux Mint Mate or Mate edition is one of the best Linux-based operating systems in the world as an alternative to everything else out there that you hate in the Linux world. Uh, guess what? Uh, Ubuntu Mate or Mate is out in beta format and I suggest before we take a look at this I strongly suggest you take a look at three websites OMG Ubuntu has something on Ubuntu Mate seeks official spin status the Ubuntu Mate or Mate website here and this will give you all the information you need about how Ubuntu Mate cam came to be I would strongly suggest you take a look at the system requirements minimum to the left recommended to the right if you have an older computer if you have the minimum requirements it will work I strongly suggest you have at least the requirements to the right but it is not required the version I installed is the version from noobs lab the reason why I did that one is because well I saw that one first and the version from noobs lab gives me the option to install the Mint menu with this which is currently not available in the Ubuntu Mate Remix. Strictly personal preference. Okay, this is a beta. Now this may, it may break your system. I installed this um, on one of my older laptops inside Ubuntu 14.04. Uh, Kaja, the file manager, would not start, and on my laptop it left me with two network indicator icons right here that I could not get rid of. Uh, the machine still works, but keep in mind this is in beta format, so this may break your system. That being said, let's go ahead and take a look at this inside a virtual machine. Now before you guys start screaming at me, toss a virtual machine, here we go again. This works fine inside a virtual machine as all the Ubuntu flavors have worked well for me. Now, this is designed for beginners, so if you would like to try this, I strongly suggest, again, a virtual machine or if you have a spare machine. As I stated, this is beta, so it may break your system. Well, what can I say? I told you guys, so this is the, one of the easiest, finest looking operating systems, the Mate edition I have seen in years. If you do not like Ubuntu's Unity, you don't like you know KDE you want something simple something for older machines ready to install ready to go take a look at this again this is probably going to be a self-explanatory type of review right click as you would and you have the ability to you know change your backgrounds many choices here themes well, let's start at the top right of course power now I won't go into all of this but you know power of course time and date network volume right click you have sound preferences here one of my favorite features that is missing in Ubuntu Unity is the ability to right click and add little applications or applets such as the weather report and you add that and I used to live in Florida so preferences let's see here go to location type in Orlando International Airport's fine, and it is a very nice 81 degrees in Orlando. And of course, you can add other stuff too. All right, System, Preferences, Administration. Again, this is self-explanatory. If you used Ubuntu pre-Unity and you love that, well, it's back. All right, Places, Home Folder. This is Kaja 1.8.1. Again, simple to use. Icon, list, compact. And this is running very, very well in a virtual box without even installing it. So all those distributions that don't work well in a virtual box, yeah. Let's, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Applications, accessories. Let's see if anything catches my eye. Education, graphics. Okay, I would install the GIMP if you're going to install this. Internet, Firefox, okay. Office, LibreOffice by default. Sound and video. Rhythm box I use. I would probably install VLC on this. System tools. Let's take a look at the system monitor. 
All right, not bad at all. 357 megabytes of RAM. How about that? Lightweight. And universal access, of course, the standard icons. This folder here, we don't need that. I just see if it worked. Yeah, we have computer, Ubuntu's home. Install Mate and Trash. This, I'm assuming, has the simple uh, install if you are coming from a Windows environment based off Ubuntu. This should be very easy to install. I don't know if this is going to pop up in a virtual machine. Let's see here. And it looks like we have a panel at the bottom with four working spaces. And this is also, yep, this is also customizable. So again, pretty much uh, self-explanatory. All right, again, this is based off Ubuntu. This has a beginner-friendly installer. You should, have, should not have any problems installing this on your machine. Keep in mind, this is a beta. So if, it's, if you have a test machine, it would be perfect because this might break your system in a production machine. And we'll quit out of that. Well, what can I say? It's I, ha I use Linux Mint Mate. I love it. I love the Mate or Mate desktop. As you see here, here I have this running inside Ubuntu 14.04. I haven't noticed any issues on my desktop. Again, I tested this in my laptop and it didn't play nice. Now I tested in, in my laptop, laptop, I ran it inside Ubuntu 14.04 as a different desktop environment. It did not play nice. However, as a full, full install, I would not be surprised if it ran much better. That being said, keep in mind it is still a beta, so things are going to break more than likely. Well, that's it. Ubuntu Mate. One of the best operating systems in the world, in my opinion, coming from a Windows PC environment. So check it out. I will have all the links below in the show notes. Well, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Don't forget to subscribe and support the channel for future goodies. Thank you so much. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in your Mate future.